Magellan BI Reporting has authoring environments from simple to advanced for everyone in the enterprise based on their skill set and data analysis needs. We're going to show three of those authoring environments, two in the browser, and one desktop application. Right now, I'm logged into Magellan BI Reporting where I can see all of my own reports as well as any of those that are shared with me. I can also create new reports as well as upload or connect to my own data sources. We'll start by selecting Create a New Data. There are predefined data connections available and a sample database, but I can also create my own data connection or upload my own data in the self-service data preparation environment. I can connect or join multiple flat files, relational databases, as well as big data stores. We're going to use a data connection already created. The first BI authoring environment I'll show is the Report Studio. To get there, we select Create New Report. So all reports need data, so it starts off by prompting me for a data source. So we'll select one here called Spend History. I can expand this data, I can see all the columns here. And uh, to have them instantly visualized as a table, I can simply drag them and drop them onto the report. So I can delete uh, uh, items I don't want. So if I want to take this, say, a bill pay uh, item off, I can uh, remove this column. I can also hide columns that I don't want to use now, but maybe I'm going to use later for analysis. So I'll hide this uh, column here. Uh, I can also um, group this. So I'll say I'll group by spend category as well as by merchant. We'll do some sorting here. So we'll sort this by say ascending and uh, we'll um, uh, create some aggregations here on the amount column uh, for both the table uh, and the group in the header and the footer here uh, appropriately. So in the uh, each a category header, I've got a total. Each merchant header, I've got a total, as well as the, a grand total at the bottom uh, for the entire table. We can also add other visualizations to uh, the report as well, including cross tabs, uh, images, uh, all kinds of charts here, a tree map, a heat map, um, uh, meters, word cloud as well. So I'll choose a, a column chart here. And I could drag it uh, where I'd like to see it. I can put it below or to the left, uh, to the right, above. So we're going to drop it above here. So it needs data. And for the x-axis, uh, we're going to choose the uh, spend category. Uh, for the y-axis, we're going to say take the amount and sum that up. And we're going to go ahead and group these um, by uh, the account. And click OK. So right now, the chart is being previewed by uh, 20 rows of data here. We can change that to say 200 rows of data and get a better idea of the distribution of the chart here. And it looks great. So let's go ahead and change some uh, settings here. We can go into the chart settings here uh, in the chart area. And we'll change the new chart title uh, to be uh, spend by category. We'll go down and select a uh, theme of uh, say clean blue. We'll use a subtype of stacked charts. And uh, we'll have it uh, show the legend uh, below the chart as well. So I'll click Apply. And now I've got a chart here. So we'll save this. We'll call this a spender port. And we'll run it. So this is an interactive report for the user. And we'll talk about that in the video uh, Consuming BI. So right now, I've shown you how to create a simple report. Now let's create a dashboard. 